All right, good evening. Welcome to Japanorama on Fridays here at FTV. I'm your host, Joel Reckler, and tonight we're going to have an, a, a better opportunity to have another show and to entertain each and every one of you. But before I go on, I would like to thank all my sponsors. Uh, the Catholic Cemeteries in conjunction with the Diocese of, the, of Ontario or Toronto. And also the Ogden Funeral Home located at uh, Shepherd and Midland in the heart of Scarborough. And Formula Honda, number one Honda dealership in Toronto, located at Markham Road and Finch, also in the heart of Scarborough. Thank you very much for your support for the past three years. And tonight, she's going to support us too. <laughs> My special guest. Shadel Chavez is a creative songwriter and she writes poems. I didn't know that. She is learning that this is her strength to perform. Shadel is also the art director of the Fan Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Good looking girl. Shadow, how are you, Shadow? I'm okay, thank you. What is Fan Jam? That's the first thing I'd like to ask you. So, elaborate. So, Fan Jam was a one day fundraising art exhibition um, that I was part of with my two friends who were co op students at Kapisanan. Have you heard oh, of Filipino it? Filipino word. Kapisanan, what's the meaning of that? Uh, I is it I think like get togetherness? Together. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Um, so Kapisanan is a registered uh, charity downtown. So this is a continuation uh, event? This was just one time. Oh, one time only. Okay, that's why yes. I would like it. Um, but basically they are an arts-based organization that integrates Filipino-Canadian um, youth into Toronto. When 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 was that? that this was in 2017. Okay, so you, did you perform that particular day? Apo, I performed uh. and I showcased my visual work and I um, I curated the show. So I reached out to local Filipino artists um, my age and we just brought Where are they now, those artists? Um, I wonder if any of them came over here too. Can you mention um, a few? They were very local people who Probably didn't see themselves as artists, but I wanted to give them a platform. Okay. Yes. There was, so most of them are singers. Yes. And so the point of that space was to um, raise funds for this mentorship program mm -hmm. called uh, Clutch and Navigation. Okay. And we also um, got some donations for clothing. How old are you I'm when you start singing? I, I've been doing it since I can remember. Why, your parents sing? No. Yes, they're both they very do. musical. Oh, okay, you're mm -hmm. very musical. Mm -hmm. uh, who was your mentor? Is, is, uh, what's her name? The girl that you mentioned to me, Alberto, what's her name again? Oh, Astrid Gilbert. Uh, yeah, Gilberto. is she your mentor? She, you sound like her. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Um, she's definitely one of my influences because of my mom. Oh, yes. your mom listened to her, right? Yes. Yeah. Because uh, your repertoire sounds almost the same as what she does. She definitely influences me with the feathery texture of her yeah. voice. I told you, she is now, she's still alive, but she's mm -hmm. aged, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Wonderful voice. Mm -hmm. She's American? I think she's Brazilian. Brazilian, but she lives in the, in the oh, States. I think so, yeah. I think so. so. I'm, sure. I'm going to Google her. A friend of mine loves her so much. As a matter of fact, uh, have you had the CDs of her? Do you have uh, yes. copies of that? Yeah, at home, yes. You do? At my mom's. How many? Yeah. I'm not really sure, but I do listen to her on Spotify now. <laughs> yeah. You do listen to her? Yes. Can you copy a bit, uh, one? If you don't, I don't know how to sure. do that. Can you copy me a CD? I'll give you a CD though. Okay, I yeah. can ask someone to do it. I don't personally oh, yeah. know, but I can, <laughs> you, you, I can. You're just like me, I don't know how to do it, that's why. I, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question is, okay. how do you compile all your music that you like to do? On what time, where do you get them? And, uh, you know, how do you do that? I like to know. Like, do you mean, how do I? You're, you're, how do you put together all your oh, my repertoire? Songs? Yeah, your songs that you will perform? Um, they all pretty much have the same theme. I don't often write too much about love. It's always just about 
um, things like that's fine. Like yeah. me, I have like like I get anxious, so I want people to feel understood through my songs. And How that's often what do I, you write? Every day you write a song? Um, it's funny because I don't. As of late, I haven't been writing. I just yeah. take my phone and sure, I record yeah, my voice. Yeah. And so you I don't forget, many... eh? Yes. Can you read notes? I used to from elementary school, but not yeah, anymore. Yeah. I just like to play by ear. You know how many musicians, famous ones, that mm -hmm. doesn't know how to read notes? Mm -hmm. uh, I know somebody who, who, who doesn't, but she become very famous. I don't want to mention her name because she, she said to me, Joel, don't tell everybody I don't know how to read notes. <laughs> but anyhow, good. And also, uh, on your short bio you sent me, mm -hmm. you wrote that uh, you also write poetry. Yes. I love poetry. Mm -hmm. You're uh, very artistic, eh? Yes, it's, I definitely use it as like an outlet. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I bet you 60, 80% of songs are mm -hmm. from, derived from poetry. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. It can't be. Only from poet to music. But not music to poetry. Yeah, you could too. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you could too. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like... I, I listen or I read a lot of um, poems by William Wordsworth, mm. an English poet. And there's one favorite one that I do, Mary Wilson, uh, the British uh, poet who, is, who once married to the, the former prime minister of England, uh, mm. Harold Wilson. She writes real mm. poetry, I mean, real life events, mm. you know, her, her, her life. In this world, if you listen to it, oh, they're so wonderful. She mm -hmm. did actually compile it in one book, and the the book was published. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautifully done, you know. We're gonna hear uh, two of your songs. You're gonna do one Filipino, which is "Wala na bang pagibi." You said the Tagalog song that was uh, sang by Jaya, mm -hmm. and also. The one that you have written, which is titled Terrified, mm -hmm. original composition by Shadel Chavez, ladies and gentlemen. Bawat 
create something new When you're always stuck in its up and down type of attitude And you're always exhausted, way too Overstimulated, subconscious, eternal and basic Creatively frustrated when someone executes an idea you thought you had first Shouldn't have waited You wasted your time Saying I'm not And saying I can't You gotta keep moving You're always forgetting This world's become sink or swim so just dive in Every moment spent Overthinking Is funding your chains And your dead weight Cementing your own feet Where you don't wanna be Succumbing to those voices Telling you that your only choice is To pull out Don't let a new life begin but you just need reminding That change isn't always negative Honor your existence and start living Aren't you tired of wasting your time Being terror, 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 terrified Of wasting your time Always be terrified Always be terrified Always be Hello, we're back with the Panorama, and tonight we have uh, a, a very special guest, a beautiful girl, Shadel Chavez. She's a singer, and she also writes poetry. You're smart. Wow. Thank you. Are you the only daughter? Yes. Or you're the only child? Mm -hmm. Are you spoiled? I wouldn't say so. You, <laughs> you just don't want to admit it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to be uh, spoiled. With love. <laughs> With love, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, being spoiled is love. You're right mm -hmm. there, you know. Where did you get the idea to title a song, Terrified? Um, so, I've always been very shy, but I know that I have a lot of gifts to share with my visual work and my music and poetry. So what's got Terrified got to do with it? So, I wanted to write a song about how I'm tired of being terrified to share that. Because I was always Yeah, nervous. but don't you think the, the word terrified is too abrupt, too strong to use? To be scared, mm -hmm. to be scared, to be scared, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I like how it, it's, it contrasts with the music because the music is more encouraging yeah. to others. And though, mm -hmm. though, if you look at the other way, mm -hmm. you'll be... the. the the, your audience of people who listen to you, I wonder what is this song terrifying, mm -hmm. eh? And then when they, once they hear you, you know how mellow is the, the melody <laughs> is, and oh, that's what is terrifying. Then they change their mind, mm -hmm. or they change their, their energy, you know, terrified. Mm -hmm. You have a very, very, very soft, mellow voice. Mm -hmm. It's good. Thank you. Yeah. Good execution also, as a matter of fact. Thank you. And you mentioned to me that you will be doing a recording? Yes. Under what label is it going to be? Um, 
It's sort of an independent project yeah. right now, but we'll see. What so how, you said four songs? Four to five. Four. You all, did, how many of those four to five you, did you compose? Um, I wrote all of them. You, all of them, eh? Yes. Huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're a, you're a poet writer. You're a singer. You're a composer. Visual and you have a artist. degree in sociology and... Uh, and, and majoring, you majored also in French language. My minor. Yeah, yes. so you speak English, you speak French fluently? Kind of. Yeah. Can getting you, there. Can you speak Tagalog? Apo, or I, Filipino? Apo. Yeah. And you're just the same as I am. She can also do uh, the, the uh, English accent. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a beautiful language, I'm telling you. You never made a mistake on that. You know? <laughs> uh, when, is the, when are you going to start working on your, your project, that uh, recording? Um, as soon as possible. It's something I've been trying to work on doing. But... You know I have a radio show too, mm -hmm. not, not only television. You give me a copy of that. Mm -hmm. How are you going to give me a copy of that when we're just talking about no, you have no, they don't come in physical CDs anymore. I can I can figure it out and transfer it to you. You could transfer it mm -hmm. or send it to me mm -hmm. on my email, and then every time I'm going to use it, I'm going to send it to my technicians at work. Mm -hmm. Now just do it in a physical way so I could see it okay. and I write your name in it because I have already a lot of files, thousands mm -hmm. of them of different singers. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's good. You want to be famous? I don't know if I want. Like fame is not the goal, but I just, it sounds really cheesy, but I just want people to feel understood through my music. You know, I used to sing. Mm -hmm. My goal at the time is not to be famous. Mm -hmm. I want to make a lot of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. And my parents proud. You're proud of you. As cheesy as that sounds, yes. Who would not be proud of you? Poet, songs, uh, college degree, you know. Are you working right now? No. Uh, yeah, well, just as yeah. an artist assistant at as the moment. A, okay, yes. that's, that's very good, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'd like to thank you for coming over. Uh, you don't you. mind, you come back maybe a year from now and see what happens. Sure, you know, I would love and, to. And uh, give me, uh, you promise me, you're going to yes. give me a copy of that CD. As, what do you, did, you, did you already get any title for your CD? Not yet. I'm still figuring everything out. This don't, don't, are you going to use Terrified again? <laughs> um, terrified by Chandel <laughs> Chavez. <laughs> they might not buy it anymore, but mm -hmm. who's terrifying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chandel, mm -hmm. why don't you write songs about love? Mm, I think, okay, my, I grew up with my dad playing um, a sin, you know, like the band. The sin? people who sang S -I -N? Anak, Asin, like Salt. Okay. The folk oh, group, yeah. I grew up listening to them and I was very inspired by how they always Who's sang this about. Who's Asin? Asin, like. Oh, is that a Filipino? Yes. Oh, okay. I never heard of them. The one who sang like Anak. That's uh, Freddie Aguilar. I like, or. Or am maybe I right? they, oh, they also made, they also sing the song, probably. Yes, I think. Okay. Just yeah. like that group of people, they inspire me with like their like environmental. Topics and like yeah, you spell A S I N. I think so. Yes. Am I That's saying funny. that right? I never heard of it. Yes. I never <laughs> I heard of the the folk. Well, group. you know, yes. Filipinos. They, there's tons and tons of uh, mm -hmm. singers and singing groups and, mm -hmm. and band. You know, things like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And I uh, think there are many songs about love already. So I just want to say something. Well, ninety percent of music all over the world is about love. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, Good. You, you, you will be very successful with, uh, with your, you know, in this kind of craft music, uh, if you're not thinking to be a millionaire, you don't have to because it's what you like doing. Mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. Provided that you're an excellent musician, then look at uh, Mayara Carey, who, who I refer Mariah to her name. Carey. Yeah, uh, Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. uh, I like Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. They are millionaires now. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that are not rich in this kind of business are the opera singers. Mm. 
<laughs> well, except Pavarotti and <laughs> Jose Carrera and Domingo and things like that, you know. Shadel, thank you very much. Thank you for and having me. And thank you for coming me. also as well. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Bye-bye. And to each and every one of you, thank you very much. This is Joel saying good night. See you next week. Bye-bye.